All right, so this one doesn't really look too much fun. Uh, when I was kind of going by this by inspection, it looks like these are going to graph some uh, pretty nasty equations. But you know, let's, uh, let's go ahead and set them in y equals uh, mx plus b form, or slope intercept form, and kind of see what our graph's going to look like. So the first thing that I want to do is obviously put them in that format. So I'm going to do my work kind of separately and then see what I have here. So first thing I'll do is I need to isolate the y. So I'll add a 20x to both sides. Therefore, I have 12y equals 20x minus 24. Again, I'm going to write my variable um, in front of my constant. Then I'll divide by 12 here. And here I have y equals. Now 20 over 12, you've got to determine you know, what value is going to come in the same. So that would be 5 thirds x. And this would be a negative 2. Now let's go ahead and uh, put this equation into slope-intercept form. 5x minus 3y equals 6. So again, we need to isolate the x, so I'll subtract a 5x. And therefore, I have a negative 3y equals 6 minus 5x. Divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, and I get y equals, I guess I probably should have rewrote those, but that's OK. Um, that will become a negative 3 plus a 5 thirds x. So therefore, by rewriting this in the correct format, y equals 5 thirds x minus 2, you can now see that these are the exact same equation. So yes, there is a consistent solution, but it's the exact same line. So it's what we call dependent. So just to show you how to graph this, I only need to do it once because it's the exact same line. But again, remember, when we're starting in slope-intercept form, we start at the y-intercept. So we go on the y-axis. And starting from the origin, we go down two units. That is what we call our y-intercept. So 0, negative 2 is going to be our y-intercept. So now, the next thing that we're going to do is follow the slope. And you can see the slope is 5 thirds. That's going to tell me to uh, go up 5 and then over 3. I could also go down 5 and to the left 3. So I'll go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 3, 1, 2, 3. All right, all I need is two points to be able to create my line. And I'll just kind of try to consistently stay with the same slope. But again, ladies and gentlemen, for both of these equations, they're exactly the same. So therefore, the intersection point is all the intersection points on the line. Therefore, it is a uh, consistent dependent solution. Thanks.